Governor Christie came to Camden today to celebrate the sweeping changes made to Camden's police force just over a year ago. While it's too early to declare victory, there have already been some real signs of progress in curbing crime in Camden. Progress like a police force that has almost doubled in size in a little over a year. Camden County took over policing the city last year and a new wave of recruits graduating today will bring their total manpower to almost 390 officers. They've also made technological advances, installing license plate readers and over 160 cameras across the city. And police have been working to build relationships with the community they serve. But all of this wasn't enough to save 24 year old Ernesto Pete Torres. He was gunned down in April. They chased him down. They shot him three times in his back and he and he passed away before the ambulance got there. Torres's mother has been praying for her son's killer to be captured. Authorities say the alleged murderer, 23 year old Jonathan Cruz of Camden, was on the run until yesterday when U.S. Marshals arrested him in Massachusetts. I just thank God that he was captured. What we're putting forward is an effort that's not just to, to reduce the number of crime victims, which is a statistical success, but to, but to make people feel safer in their communities. And uh, unfortunately, uh, this, this tragic incident uh, took this, this woman's son from her. There's nothing we can do to reverse that, but the best we can do is try to secure a neighborhood to prevent the next act like that from occurring again. Camden has historically ranked among the most dangerous cities in the nation, but today the governor held it up as a model for other crime-ridden cities, and he rattled off the results. Motor vehicle thefts in the city are down by nearly half compared to two years ago. Violent crime overall is down by a quarter, and murders in the city have declined by 30 percent. Residents here say they see the city's changes in policing. You know, in the rain, in freezing weather, they are all out there walking. It's, it's impressive. But all here also agree that taking back the city is a job that's not finished yet. You, you know, you cannot say that you're going to walk the streets of uh, Camden at night safe. You can't do that. Uh, it's better in during the day at night, no way. Uh, there's still a lot of work to be done. The police force has budgeted for manpower of over 400. They plan to reach that goal by year's end, all in an effort to keep Camden's streets safer. In Camden, I'm Christy Duffy, NJTV News.